Hi, my name is Jacob. I work with Backstreet Surveillance, and today we're going to show you how to design your system using your new system design tool. To get started, go to our homepage and then under Systems, click DIY System Designer. Then click Get Started. Now the first step to designing your system is to type in the address to your location. For this example, we will use the address to Baxter Surveillance. Once you're done typing it, hit Enter. Now before you click Start Design, make sure that you have oriented your map correctly. Although you can edit it later, it might be difficult to move it once you have placed your cameras. These buttons in the corner will help you orient or find the best angle if you're looking at 3D view. Or if you just wanted a 2D view from the top, you could click on this button. For this example, we will use a 3D view from the back of the building. You can remove this marker by clicking on it if you don't want it to be shown on your design. And now that you've oriented your map, click Start Design. On this section of the interface, the cameras are listed. This includes all of our 3K and 4K cameras including domes, bullets, and PTZs. To add a camera, simply click on the camera that you wish to select. For example, we will select the Pro 90D 4K. This will place the camera at the center of the screen, but you can drag it to position it as you wish. To position the viewing distance of the camera, simply drag these nodes. You can change the color of the viewing area by clicking on the camera and then selecting the color you wish to change to. Now let's say you don't want a Pro 90D 4K here, but you actually want a Pro 120. To delete a camera, simply click on the camera, and then on your keyboard, press delete or backspace. Now we can add in a new camera by selecting the camera from the list. And then position the viewing area by dragging each node. In addition to adding cameras to your design, you can also add other items. Simply click on Other, and this will reveal a different list with other items, such as video recorder, PoE switch, wireless transmitter, and a Wi-Fi router. To add an item, click on the item, and then click on the part of the map where you would want it to be located. You can also reposition the item by dragging it. Let's have a look at these buttons on the left. The first button will add a text on the screen. Simply press on the button and then press on the map where you would want the text to be located. To edit the text, simply double click on the item. Now click anywhere to leave editing mode. And now you can also drag this text to position it. This next button can be useful when wanting to visualize a connection. For example, if you would like to visualize that this camera is connected to a PoE switch, simply click on the button, then click on the camera, and as you can see, the line will follow your mouse until the second click. You can click on the PoE switch to complete the connection. Now you can change the color of this line the same way you did with the viewing areas. Simply click on the beginning or the end of the line and then select what color you would like the line to be. Now if you would like to hide this line under the camera and the PoE switch, you can use the Send to Front button. To use it, click on the camera and then click Send to Front. We can do the same thing with the PoE switch. You can now see that the line is nicely hidden behind these two items. This next button is used to duplicate a camera. To use, click on a camera and then click duplicate. Now we can reposition this camera by dragging it over. The rotate area button will rotate the viewing area by 90 degrees clockwise. Every time you click on the button, it will cycle through each rotation. 
As you can see, although we rotated the viewing area, the camera is still facing the wrong way. We can adjust that by clicking on the camera and then selecting flip image. Now you can see that the camera is facing the correct way. Now if you would like to change the size of the camera image, you can click on the camera and then click scale up or scale down to change the size. Now let's take a look at these last three buttons. The first button is used to relocate the map. Simply click on the edit map and this will unlock the map for you to move or zoom or rotate the angle. Now it's important to remember that once you move the map, your cameras won't move with the map. So as you can see, if we were to continue the design, our cameras would be incorrectly positioned. This is why it's important to remember to locate the map correctly before beginning your design. The clear design button will delete all objects on the screen. This includes your cameras, your lines, your other items. All of it will be cleared from your design. This action is permanent, so it is important to be sure you want to perform it before clicking clear. Finally, once your design is done, you can save it by clicking save design. On this small window, you can choose what information to include on your design. All of these are optional, but let's go over each one. This option will include your design address, which you can edit here. This next option will include the name of the customer or the owner of this design. This third option will include the list of cameras that were used in your design. If one of our sales agents helped you with your design, you can select who helped you to include in your information. For now, we will leave it blank. You can add any comments to your design in here. And if you would like to change the name of your file, you can enter the information here. Let's click save so we can download our design. This will download a PNG file from your browser that contains a picture of your design. And as you can see, our design is finished, including all the information that we entered. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was useful. And now you're ready to go on and design your own surveillance system.